Hello, my name is Andreas Grimsel. I'm Product Marketing Manager for Interface Technologies and Pepperland Fuchs. Today, I'd like to show you how to parameterize the hard loop converter easily and conveniently. The hard loop converter powers and communicates with field devices. It is able to analyze up to four digital hard signals and convert them into up to three 4 to 20 milliampere signals. In this test arrangement, we use the hard loop converter, the power rail, which the module is mounted onto, and a power feed module. On the hard loop converter's field side, you can communicate with field devices and hazardous areas up to zone 0 or div 1. On the control side, there are three 4 to 20 milliampere signals, as well as additional NO contacts or changeover contacts, depending on the product types you choose. On the hard loop converter's front side, you see various LEDs. The red one indicates faults, the green one is the power supply, and the yellow ones indicate the relay status of the outputs. The display shows measured values, current output values, and fault messages. Moreover, the parameterization mode is displayed here. Four push buttons below are used to navigate the menu during parameterization. The operating philosophy is the same as for other multifunctional modules of the K-System. Confirm and access submenus with OK, navigate with the cursor keys and go back with Escape. To start the parameterization mode, push the OK and the Escape button simultaneously for one second. This mode allows the configuration of the physical unit, the hard communication with the field device, the outputs and service functions. In our test arrangement, we will parameterize output number 3 as an example. For this, navigate to menu item output within the parameterization mode. After confirming with OK, the corresponding submenu opens. Using the cursor keys, we navigate to iout3 and access the next level with OK. Here it's possible to assign variables and to set the output characteristics as well as start and end values. We will set a few values as an example and begin with the secondary variable. For this, we navigate via disabled and primary variable to secondary variable, confirm with OK and go back with escape. Then we configure the output characteristics, again navigate to the corresponding menu item using the cursor keys, confirm with OK and select the required characteristics. In our case, it's 4 to 20 NE43. The same procedure applies to the configuration of the start and end values, as well as the fault current. All other settings can be done similarly. More information can be found in our user manual that is enclosed with every product. Among other things, it provides you with a clear flowchart of the configuration of each possible setting. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.